Here's another thing I want to try in the morning. Tomorrow is the Yum Double Up rig. Kind of curious to see if I get any hits on that. I know the Alabama rig is illegal here in Illinois, but I'm not sure if they allow it at this lake or not. I'm not sure. Man, guys, did he smoke it? Did he smoke it or what? Oh. This is a hoss. Oh my god, guys. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. They need to see something new. Yum. Double up rig, baby. Hammered the black buzz by Booyah. Oh yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What a fat bass. I thought he was much bigger by the way he blew up on that sucker. Look at that fat tank. Man, what a chunk. What a freaking hit. He smoked it, baby. Oh yeah. Off he goes. Easy catch and release. Man, if I get in this turnover tomorrow, man, I really, or not tomorrow, this Saturday, I really hope I can find someone because I'm going to find some nice patterns and hopefully throw some stuff other people I have no idea what it is because they're pretty much in the middle of nowhere. People here are kind of, uh, but they're really good fishermen, so uh, we'll see if we pull out some more. Okay, it's got a little bass on the jackal crankbait here. Let him use some of his energy up. Just trying not to get hooked, that's all. This is a small guy. But. Just gonna see if I can pull any nice ones off the crankbait here. I'm just kind of looking for little patterns for the tournament this Saturday. I don't even know if I'm going to be in it, but just in case I am, I'm going to try to find some patterns that will work maybe. And hopefully I can find a buddy to go with me. I've been asking a guy that I went with last year, but he isn't responding to me yet, so we'll see if we catch some more. Got a pike on, guys. A decent. A decent pike. He's in a mess too. He's in a mess.
caught him on a live target crankbait. I don't feel like picking him up with the line. We'll tire him out. Look at that pike, guys. Heck yeah. Look at that. Look at that crankbait down there. I'm gonna have to get. I'm gonna have to get a different set of pliers. All right, guys, I've been here 10 minutes, just watching the pike, and it looks like he did survive, and he did swim off. As I said, he was hooked way down there, but as I was taking him back to get longer pliers, he shook it out, and no gill was loose or nothing. No gill on my bait. No gill on the ground. His gill wasn't hanging out of his throat. So I think I just let him go way too fast. But he did swim off, it looks like. He is not around here anymore. He was right here. He didn't swim in the weeds. He just ended up swimming off. So that's a good sign. So we'll see if we can get some more. There is Bess on the crayfish. Went out this morning for a while and caught him on top waters, which was fun. Came back around six, first bass on, just so I'm gonna catch a pike. And he did swim off, thank God. That would have sucked if he died, but it took me a good 10, 10 15 minutes to wait to see if he would swim away, and he finally did. I must have just. I just put him back way too fast, I guess, and then he was bleeding, so he had to recuperate. Nothing was missing from his gill or nothing. He was just bleeding and tired out. And I didn't really mean to drop him in that fast, and he floated away. I couldn't grab him, but he swam away good, so we'll see if we can catch some more bass. It's been pretty slow. I've been here a good hour or so with no hits until that pike and just now that bass shortly after so we'll keep throwing the crayfish crankbait just to get get some fish going and then I'll get back to you guys Another one on the live target crawfish. Not sure if I have the fish or not, guys. I 
if I do, he's in all this salad right here. Oh, I do. <laughs> Come through all that salad, man. Like 10 pounds of it. Decent. He sucked it under, too. Look at Mr. Copper down there, peeking out. He inhaled it. I waited a long time before I set the hook also. So I just wasn't sure if he had it. That chunky bass on the live target frog. You see him better there? Yeah. That's a decent pound and a half too. Little chunk. Hammered the frog. Not really hammered it. He just sucked it under, but he wanted it. Off he goes. Sorry about that, guys. Crap. Hold on. Oh my god. Really sorry about that. That's not how you handle a fish, but man, this is a good one. Look at this one, guys. That's a, that's a decent fish. He's long, but he's not as fat. Could sell a two pounder on the frog. I did not mean to drop him. I didn't really drop him. I went to lift him and he came off. Sorry about that, guys. There he goes. Huge blow up. Big ol' northern. On the frog, guys. He smoked it. Man, did he smoke it. He broke me off. I knew that was gonna happen. Broke me off, guys. Guys, another pike. And this time, this one didn't swallow it. I 
And a live target crayfish. Mr. Pike. Look at the mouse on these things. <laughs> 